See, I said I wasn't even going to do this. <laughs> but sometimes God leads you in a new direction. I'm going to say what I got to say. I'm going to leave it. That was what I was told this morning. Say what you got to say and leave it. Because he said, I got this one. But I want you to say what you got to say. I'm going to let you have this one, daughter. But I'm going to let you say what you got to say. And I want you to leave it. Because no weapon shall form against me shall prosper. Okay. Before we get started, what I'm saying is alleged. It's my opinion. It's for entertainment only. It's for he, he, ha, ha. Did I say it is alleged? Entertainment. Did I say it is my opinion? All right, now. Let me tell y'all. I be telling y'all, you can't tell karma how to come back and get you. Hmm. You can't. I got a DM yesterday. I'm thinking about it. Because I told y'all, don't come my DM if that child don't give y'all stuff. I got a DM. So I went to about Stormy. Her trifling ass mama. We're gonna call her Rock Face. Yep. Rock Face and Kung Fu Panda. And Stormy, they don't pull it together. But I'm gonna tell you, they hit the low. Hmm. They hit the low, low. But like I said, who? When God get finished with them, we gonna know. Hmm. Business Business Bureau. I think it's like 99 or 100 complaints against this girl. People so mad at her say, oh, so you got on the show and you forgot us. Hmm. They said, you got on the show and you forgot us. So it's just like F us. Yes, she did. Hmm. I called it last year and I said, she's going to get on the show and her whole business is going to fall apart in front of her face. It's going to crumble. What is doing? Well, auntie tell y'all something. It's true. Because God don't lie. When God get to me, I get to y'all. If God said, keep it to yourself, I keep it to myself. But he said, this is what I want you to say. Tell her, don't get up there and let her whole business crumble in her face. And forget about me. That's what she did. Hmm. I ain't one of the gods. I'm a news reporter. 100 complaint. Somebody said that. <laughs> it happened to me. They ordered some shit. And it was a hundred something dollars worth of stuff. Almost two hundred dollars worth of stuff. This slickery, I don't know what she sent them. I don't know what was what. Sent a told Bez and Bills Bureau, the BBB, that she mailed it. And showed them some kind of um, delivery shit up. Don't know what it was. Won't there. 
this is a lady story now. You can go over there and pull it up yourself. Auntie ain't lying. If you see all those complaints, you'll say, my God, my God. This is this is bad. I'm telling y'all, it's bad. She got an F down there. A whole fat F. Hmm. Never seen it in my life. She told these people and showed them some kind of delivery slip that she delivered to this lady. And she's having. The lady said, I ain't I haven't received anything. Best beer say, where she showed us a, a um, paper that she delivered. Nope. The lady's smart. How much did it weigh? They told her, she said, uh uh. Uh uh. I ordered four things. It should weigh more than that. <laughs> I know she ain't lying. The lady ain't lying because it happened to me. I ordered a um, cricket. And these people told me that they sent it to me. I said, I haven't got it yet. They said, we sent it to you. The bank said, we can't get the money because they done sent it. Here's the number. But I did my own investigation. Went to the post office, and I showed them the picture where the wheels are crooked. They said, ma'am, that ain't it. Man, this thing where 0 0.16 ounces. On the paper, it had the um thing was weighing 20 pounds. They wrote me a letter, sent to my bank, got my money back. That's the old trick in the book. But see, they didn't send it to my address, they sent it to somebody else's. But my name was on it. Hmm. That's how they got you. I don't know what fakerism shit going on over there in her business. But let me tell you what this is. Karma. The low down stuff you did. Karma. Comma, don't have no expression date on it. Then y'all start a smash Facebook page. I ain't gonna say a smash a Facebook page. That's a hate page, allegedly. You have your mama in a lot of pop game. Do your dirty work. I seen all the way through it. When you got her there, start doing those um, videos. I said, some shit, get ready to start. You did all that shit because Melly was coming out with Sugar Mama. Line, product line. And it did better than your son. So you a spoiled ass brat. You selfish as hell. You like to be around people that um don't have shit. They're struggling. And you're the main attraction. But see... <laughs> I'm going to pull your cover off of your ass right now. See, you wanted Melody to do the same thing to you, but see, Melody got her own shit now. Melody got her own shit. She been working on her own shit before your ass. She just getting ahead of your ass. Her shit is growing. Your shit is dropping. Your shit is dropping because you so busy worrying about Melody and talking about her baby. Your ass is just salty and vinegar. Salty ass and vinegar ass. That's your problem. Auntie try to give you some advice and your ass don't listen to it. You said you could take criticism. You can't. Your ass can't. And you can't take rejection. See, you a spoiled ass brat. When people reject you, you go in rage. Yeah, your ass crazy as hell. You showed, you right about that. You got problems, you crazy as hell. And the show is not for your ass to be on. If you're mine, that gone. A baby? And you forgot you got a baby. You forgot you got a child. See, this is how these psycho people do. They don't worry about their children. They don't worry about nothing. They just looking at that, at that object. And the object is Melody. Melody don't F with you no more. And that's the problem. I see it. Melody reject you and you mad. That's the only way you attack is her child. Because you know, she don't care about what you say about her. But you try to bring her down by her child. Let me tell you one thing. God in control. Ah! 
Baby. Baby. You in the lollipop game wrote a check to God that none of y'all ass can cash. You will never cash it. Mm. But God gonna cash y'all ass. Watch this. He already said it. Honey, I got this one. But you go ahead your little fun this morning. But I'm working on it. Hmm. I'm gonna tell you how I got working on it. Your shit is crashing in front of your eyes. Hmm. Yes, Lord. <laughs> He's a friend of mine. See, you went too far. I don't care what nobody say. Is her mama? Nope. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. Stormy sent her mama in sick Kung Fu Panda. To try to shit. See, let me tell you what I'm Kung Fu Panda Maker, she ain't got no job, allegedly. And she mad because she ain't on the show. She mad because Mel didn't want to take her shit from her. She mad because she put her hands on Mel. Don't take accountability for what her ass did. She mad because she talked about her children. Wrong road. You got your own ad dumb ass fired. Who dropped that kind of ball? On national TV, you're going to act a fool and drop the ball. You did it to your own ass. Look in the mirror, point at yourself. So y'all want to get even with Mel. You gang up with um Lottie Pop gang. And Josie and the Pussycat. All y'all coming together and got this fake page. Including Pookie. All y'all. We need we can take her down. We can do this. Or we don't get to her with her children. We don't get to, to this. Let me tell you this. Hmm. Huh. Y'all open a can of worms that your ass can't close. None of y'all shit. Like I said, you ain't never had shit, you ain't gonna be shit. It's just it. We see it. A ghetto ass mess. Ranch it. Ghetto ass mess on this show. And we're gonna do your ass a favor. When it come on, when you come on that screen, we're gonna boycott your ass. Black your ass out. When you go to kids, your ass gone too far. These children have shit to do with what was going on in your crazy ass head. You and your crazy ass mama. Ghetto, I never seen nothing in my life. An old ass dinosaur faucet. Two old ass people. Faucet ass. Dusty ass. Cricket ass. Stinking ass. Rock face. Kung Fu Panda ass. Never seen it in my life. Get your ass a job. See, y'all ain't never had shit. So you still scrapping. Y'all like rats in a corner. And you see the whole house falling in front of your damn eyes. And your ass upset with the wrong person. Because she pay y'all ass no mind. And she keep it rolling. And see, uh, Sugar Mom ain't paying y'all ass no mind. Because her money coming in. Boop! In my Nini voice. God can't bless you when your hand is dirty. God can't bless you when you ain't on his side. And they say rock face. Huh. <laughs> Do that. Whatever you call that devil craft. Let me tell you one thing. My God. Overturn your devilish craft. Hmm. We are covered in the blood. My China covered in the blood. I'm covered in the blood. Whatever you try to do to me and do to my child, it gonna hit your ass like a boomerang right in the face. Ain't no scared over here. Ain't no scared over here. With God on my side, how can I go wrong? With God on male side, how can she, how can she go wrong? Now you drain. Now y'all dragging. Miss Van all in this shit. You got her picture, old picture posted. I'm telling y'all, 
allegedly, all these people done got together. The ones that hate Melody got this group because they're mad. They can't use it as a storyline no more. None of them got a storyline. Stormy don't have a storyline. That's why she's trying to start some shit with Melody and Melody ain't paying her ass no mind. Tisha don't have no storyline. Melody ain't paying her ass no mind. She told no use it anymore. Maurice, my soul, they don't have no storyline. Because Melody said, leave her out y'all shit. They don't have one. Born as hell. Melody done closed the bag and said, find your own damn storyline. Allegedly, none of their business is working. Hmm. And Stormy shit is falling in her face. She's still taking those same pictures of those boxes. But see, this is what I'm trying to tell you. I said the same thing yesterday. Your parade is mixed up. You need to be trying to save your shit, but you're trying to start shit. Make it make sense. I can't make this shit up. I ain't lying. The time y'all use on that Facebook page talking about Sugar Mama and Melody Kids and her mama and her family. Y'all ass could be packing that shit. Get your rock face ass mama in there to help you pack that shit and get that shit out that warehouse. And hope this shit is good when it get out there. Y'all got so much time to draw on your face, to, to throw shade at people, to be on live, live your ass in that warehouse and get that shit out there to these people. You got a hundred and something complaints at BBB. Hmm. I ain't the one to gossip the shit down there. Never in my life seen some old ass, rotten ass, ghetto ass, ranching ass, old ass ladies. Don't have shit to do but talk about children. See, I can tell you ghetto. Because that's what they did with the ghetto time. Ghetto people talk about children. All oh, you on that page is ghetto. You ain't got shit. You on welfare. Don't have nowhere to live at. You got a toe in the dough, and they're going to put your whole ass out. I can tell. Hmm. Yep. Cut from a different claw. A regular ass, trifling ass, dirty ass claw. I can tell you nasty. Couple pounds of cooking. Look at that nasty ass stove. Nasty ass kitchen. All those dirty ass. Whew. Pots and pans. And your ass on camera. You can't make this shit up. They're some nasty ass people. Nasty. They're just trifling, nasty, ghetto, ranchy, trash bucket, dumpster juice looking ass people. A child. <laughs> A child. And you forgot you got a grandchild. Y'all got grandchildren. A child? If somebody said that shit about your grandchildren, Kung Fu Panda, you'll be ready at their house ready to kick their ass. See, this is the shit I'm talking about. One-way street. If somebody says something about rock face ass, she will have a damn fit. Hmm. Rats in a corner trying to scratch your ass out. Hmm. Your house is tr crumbling right in front of your eyes. That's the problem. So you know you got rats coming out trying to fight. The only time rats come out and do that and talk about other people's children is when they losing everything. And the shit is crumbling in their face. But let me give you this right here. They say when you get a certain age, you know, like why? As you age, it get fine. As these food age, they get dumber and dumber. See, they don't fake all their life. 
they done took all their life. So they don't know nothing else but to take shit from you. Hmm. All of them go through my videos. And I'm telling you why you go through my video because there's wisdom in it. And you get a little bit of it. And you try to take my words and try to do it as y'all. Y'all will never, never win. Hmm. Until y'all do right by Sugar Mama and stop talking about her and male kids and male family. Ain't shit y'all gonna do gonna work out. Your whole house is gonna crumble on your head. Take that to the bank. Look to your left. Look to your right. They're going to be gone soon. Y'all going to turn on each other sooner than later. Because y'all got together on the wrong. The wrong, wrong. Page. Does it look like a duck? Is a duck. I will gonna show what you put up there, but my baby up there, I'm not gonna expose her like that. Y'all go to that other page. Somebody posted, they are posted. But it's some disgusting things they said about that baby. I would never, never think some grown ass, sardine ass, catfish. Stinking ass wannabes would do something to a child. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But God gave me that vision, told me who it was. And I said I knew who it was. It's all y'all ass is a group. Dusty Dustin, you ain't at, your ass ain't say either, because I got I got a feeling you in that shit too. I just can't prove, I can prove the other three. But I can't prove. No, I can prove the other four. I can prove I can prove the other four. But I just say they just ain't put you in there yet. But I got a feeling God told me you got your hand in this shit. Hmm. It is a melody hate page. Hmm. Who does that? But this is the message I'm gonna give you. Kiss Melody ass, Sugar Mama ass four times. Kiss the dog ass. Kiss the neighbor ass. Kiss the grocery man ass. Kiss your own rotten ass. Because we don't give up. It's a bunch of BS. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, this is sad. These people got together over a job over Melody coming out with a new line for Sugar Mama. She told me they couldn't use her no more on this, as a storyline on this show. She told him she don't want to be bothered with them anymore. Rejection. See, sometimes you got to live in your truth. These people can't live in their truth. They don't know the truth if it smack them in the face. They got their own shit going on. But they want to focus off of their self and put on somebody else. Who wants to be on this show? For what? This is a toxic situation. Melody, I love you. You ain't hear nothing else from auntie? You ain't never take nothing from auntie. The words that she say, get out while you can. Let this be your last year, baby. Because God would put you on a, another pastor. Oh, you think they hating you now? Hmm. Soon you'll be looking down on them. They'll be bagging you for a job. But God said, He's gonna make your enemy be your footstool. And that's what it looked like it's coming to. They are your footstool. You got your feet on their back and on their neck. They don't know how to handle you, baby girl. But Auntie loves you. I love how you're moving, how you're making your coins, how you let the stuff roll off the back and say, No weapon shall form against me, shall prosper. Mm. Baby, I'm rising with you. People talked about me on YouTube. I did not give a 
What you said about me? I'm going to continue to pray to my God. I am a cussing Christian. God ain't finished with me yet. But I tell you one thing. You're not going to continue around here disrespecting God's people and his children and his baby. And I'm telling you now, sugar mama is covered in the blood. And God said, he got y'all. Hmm. He said, he got you. He said, this one, what y'all you, get ready to go through is on him. Because kids is the greatest in God's kingdom. And old people is the greatest in God's kingdom. When you dis when you disrespect them and mistreat them, mm -mm, y'all wrote a check that none of y'all ass can cash with God. <laughs> ha! Hmm. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Put it in the comment. Hmm. That's why I pray over here and stay over here. And I got on my knees last night. Hmm. When I seen the other post, somebody put it in my DM. I got on my knees and called every last one of y'all name out to God. When I get on my knees and call your name out, woo! You better look out. God don't play about me. When I get on my knees and pray and start shaking. And God said, huh. It's already done. You know, we good friends. It's already done. When you start having problems in your life, think about what you put up there about that baby. When you start, don't know where this come from, think about what you said about that baby. When everything you losing, think about what you said about that baby. Hmm. When they come and take everything, think about what you said about that baby, your mama. And don't forget, kids is the greatest in God's kingdom. So I'm going to take you and snatch your spleen out today, but God said, mm -mm, I'm going to snatch it out. He said, because when you snatch it out, it lasts for a day or two, but when I snatch it out, it's going to last. They're going to know where it come from. But y'all rotten ass, dinosaur, bone ass, tuna fish, wearing ass. Sit your ass down somewhere. Take a bath. Wash your ass. You look stinky. You look like you haven't washed your ass in years. You're too old. You got your old ass walking around here tiptoeing. You can't walk right. Your ass tiptoeing because your damn legs hurt. You got the wig caught to the side like you, who Jesus. Synthetic wig. If your daughter got millions of dollars, her ass need to buy your wig for uh, at least 1K. Because that shit is old. Y'all talking about you got money walking around here with a synthetic wig on. If you go past a counter, this shit gonna catch on fire. Boo! But you got money. But y'all broke ass. And newsflash. Kung Fu Panda don't have the money to get her food truck. Boop! Drop the nugget. That's why she keep on saying every month, I'm going to get it this day. That's why your ass ain't going to see it. I'm going to get it this day. Oh, I got some new time. I'm going to get it this day. I'm going to get it that day. Y'all never see it. She ain't got the money. She don't have two dimes to rub together. This is why she was fighting for this job on this show so much. She need the $500, allegedly. My opinion Entertainment only. But I'm letting y'all know. When she said again, say, you lying. You ain't got the money. She don't. She don't. She don't. She's going to get it. That's why I sit back and laugh. That's why I put that truck up there on the other video I did. That's her truck. She, she ain't got the money. And some of y'all so stupid. Not my subscribers. My subscribers know what's going on. Every last one of y'all. But the one on her channel, they got that old, the eyes closed. Oh, she going to get it. She going to get it where you hold your breath. Just like they building at Bonnie Roberts over there. Y'all kept on saying, oh, they going to get it. It going to be nice. Nice where? If you made, and this is this what I'm telling you now. You can tell when people lie when they say these people made uh, uh, um, 
$7 million, $8 million. If you make that kind of money, why you ain't showing it? You live in a shack, a duplex. Man, I know I've seen million million people on Bravo and different shows. They waiting for the house to get built. Mm. And they never lived in something like that. They had another bigger house that was renting until their house get ready. <laughs> I ain't want to gossip. I'm a news reporter. I call a spade a spade. Y'all keep on thinking that chocolate and the barber is their wine. Go do your research. I did my research. I got a video on it. And all the information is right there. Tell you where the wine, tell you where the wine come from. Tell you who owned it. It tell you who made it. And they'll tell you they do sell the wine out to put your labor on it. But I'm gonna drop this one. Y'all already know. Black cannot put their label on chocolate in the bottle. They can't. They used to, but they got all these lawsuits, allegedly, in my opinion. They said, no, you can sell it, but don't put your name on it. So that means if your name ain't on it, they get majority of the money. So you get 10%. Hmm, 10%? Maybe 5%. Okay. I understand something's better than nothing. Okay, that's, that's okay. But y'all come it's in your face, and you don't even know it. I'm done with it. I said what I said, and I meant what I said. Get your shit together, Stormy, because your house is falling down in front of your face, and leave that baby alone. Get your mama, your rock-faced mama ass under control. You send her out there, and when you send her out there, she, she's like a stray dog. Then you try to bring her back in. You can't bring her back in because you don't let the dog out. We know it's you. You send her out. You get on the phone. Mama. 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 Man. Man. Baby. Drop her stuff in. And I only sold two bottles. I only sold two bottles. I just And she just sold out. Oh, I got this baby. I, I got this baby. I got this baby. Back. I got this. Mama, okay, hurry up. Mama, do what you got to do. Hurry up. But just don't say my name. Say I ain't do nothing. Okay? Then your ass do two lies. Let me tell y'all something. Oh, Jesus. You can't make this shit up with these people. These people don't know how to do shit and don't let nobody know it's their it's they ass. Because... We put two two together. Somebody, a blogger called that shit out day one. And I'm like, I didn't think about it. They said, um, do y'all think that she did that because Mel was, Sugar Mom was coming out with her line and her son had a line and it didn't do good, allegedly? I ain't think about it. And I thought thinking about it. Then you did another lie. And I thought about it. I said, oh shit, yep. Then here come Rock Face, Rock Rattle. Yep, Rock Rattle. Catfish fish eating ass. Collard green, fat bat, rabbit ass, rock face, and Kung Fu Panda. Oh, they're a team. And they got Pookie beside them. Salad partner. Hmm. Huh. And don't ask me how I know. In my DM. People see ya. Boop. I'm done. Y'all take a bath and wash your ass. Picking with little children with your stinking ass. Dinosaur ass looking ass. And for the end of the show, kiss my ass. Kiss my kid's ass. Kiss my dog ass. Kiss my man's ass. Because y'all some kissing assholes. Yep, I said it. 
old ass hoes, dried up ass hoes, stinking ass hoes, dumb ass hoes, ghetto ratchet ass hoes. We don't want to see your ass on TV. So don't let us, don't let us put a petition on your ass, Stormy, you and your mama ass. And don't let us do a block out on your ass and your mama ass. So you better rear her ass in right quick. Because we will do it. When you bring your ass on screen, block your ass out. Boop. Keep on. I'm done with it. I ain't gonna say nothing else. I'm gonna sh we can show you. Stutter. Keep on telling you. Allegedly. In my opinion. Entertainment only. Y'all have a blessed day. If nobody told you that they love you, auntie love you. Y'all place your orders. I tell y'all I sell out fast. When it's gone, it's gone. Please don't send me no email saying that, oh, you don't have any more. You, um, when you're going to restock, I'm telling you now, people been ordering all last night. They've been waiting for the, to open up. I had to go, I already announced it on Facebook. Twitter, I already announced it. So I don't know what I have left. So please don't do about no oil and do not email me because I'm not going to answer it. My stuff go fast and I want everybody to get it. My, um, I'm trying to come up a program with my original ones who keep on coming back and re-up because I like when you tell me that um, I've been using your stuff for two, for a month and it worked on my hair and I'm running out and I can't get it because I always sold it. I don't like that. I don't. So I'm trying to do a, a program or either another order site that you can order from there, from there. Just like to re-up, keep on reading up. That they'll kick in and say, when you run out, it'll kick in and say, hey, you know, you ran out. Um, You need to get this or whatever. But I'm trying, y'all. It's only me. I'm trying all I can. To get a, to make a lot more oil, more cocoa butter, and everything. Like I said, when it started getting hot, I would not be selling no more cocoa butter because it's melting. It's cost me too much money to ship. Only on special orders, and you will have to understand. If it go to you and it's melt, and then I can do. You can't get no refund. You can't get another one shipped to you. I'm not because I'm letting you know now. It will melt, and you if you sit it, if you shake it. Or you take something, stir it up, and sit it. It will go back to where it was at first. It will harden up the way you can still use it. Um, I'm only going to put it in the black box because I can keep that the way I need to. If it soft a little bit when it get to you, you sit it out and it'll harden back up. If nobody told that they love you, auntie love you. Subscribe, push that like button, ring that bell, ring a ling a ling. I really do love y'all, and I appreciate all the support, but I just could not let this go by. These people, I told them, I warned them, I told them, wrong, baby's off. When you talk about a baby going too far, I love kids. That is too far. That's ghetto trash. These trash bucket, dumpster douche people, dumpster juice people, and if don't nobody understand, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, y'all mad to come. Yeah, but she got feelings. If you have children and somebody talk about your children, that thing cut you like, hmm, I'm, I'm not going to get upset because I have two daughters. If somebody talk about my babies, oh, we got a problem. When my baby was small, if somebody talked about my baby, we got a problem. But they older, they can handle their own now. I ain't got to say nothing. They can handle their own. They grown. They can do what they do, baby. <laughs> Trust me. They mouth like their mom. They're going to tell you, oh, mom, you ain't got to worry about it. I got this one. My grown kids do not want me getting their stuff. They can have their own stuff. That's one thing I love about it. I don't have to get any stuff. I don't have to get any shit. Like these old faucet do. These heifers. Woo! Old ass heifer. Never seen in my life. And you call yourself grandma? Hmm. Trash mom. That's what your ass is. Trash mom. Y'all, I got to go. Because this right here... Y'all go to the website and see what I seen, what people been sending me. I guarantee you'll get on the comments and say, who does that? 
I can't believe they stoop, they stooped that low. I'm telling y'all, you're going to say, who does that? I can't believe these people stoop that low to talk about a baby. And look what they said. You're going to get the same thing. You're going to say, oh, yeah, it's they ass. It's they ass. <laughs> and then I'll say it was they ass. Then it was, hmm, sent to me it was they ass. See, God don't lie. And God never fail you. Bye-bye. See y'all.